Hi everyone, it's Gabriella from Berardi Immigration Law, and I want to answer some frequently asked questions about L1 renewals. So, first of all, today I had a client successfully apply and apply for L1A renewal and get another three-year approval. But here's the catch: he's held L1 status since 2011. How is that possible? This is a question we receive all the time. Well, the L1 regulations stipulate that you can hold L1 status for up to seven years. But if you are spending less than 183 days in the United States per year and continue to be an intermittent border crosser, the Peace Bridge will actually continue to extend your status in three-year increments. Other ports of entry may do it in two-year increments uh, indefinitely into the future. So that's what was the case for my client today. He only goes to Florida a few times a year for work and then was shuffling right back to Canada. We were able to show he's maintained his residence in Canada, utility bills, credit card statements, things like that. And we have a travel log showing all of the beneficiaries travel to the United States over the last three years. Got approved easily. Now here's another question we get. What happens if there has been a gap in the time since your L1 expired and when you are ready to renew? As you can imagine, this has been the case a lot this year with the border being closed and the pandemic happening. A lot of our clients who live in Canada but who are intermittent border crossers let their L1 status lapse because they said, I'm not going to the border while all of this craziness is happening. Well, again, I'm happy to report there is no rule or law that requires individuals to have seamless extensions of L1 status. So it's okay if there's a few months or even a year or more between one's grant of L1 status. So long as someone is coming to fill a similar or same position with the same employer and that employer continues to do business and be affiliated internationally with one employer to the next, absolutely fine. It can be done. If you have any other questions about L1 status or anything related to obtaining status in the U.S., please don't hesitate to give us a call. We would be happy to assist you.